Welcome to this specialty products company installation video for the 63020 and 63030 thrust alignment plates. Our patented thrust alignment plate will allow for correction of setback and thrust angle on most vehicles with rear leaf spring suspensions only. The 63020 is for 2 and 3 8 inch wide springs where the 63030 will accommodate 3 inch spring widths. This kit is designed to offset the locating pin or bolt where the leaf spring mounts on the axle flange and contains a selection of five different pin sizes to accommodate any size of locating pin. The exact size of pins are listed on the instruction sheet. This kit comes with a steel top and bottom plate along with a plastic shim used for axle positioning. Only one thrust plate is needed and may be installed on either leaf spring. It will either slightly raise or lower the vehicle depending on which side of the axle the leaf springs are mounted. Determine which side by doing a quick measurement of the ride height from side to side. On this vehicle, the leaf spring is on top of the axle so the plate will lift the body by no more than one half inch. Start by raising the vehicle by the frame and supporting it properly. Now remove the U-bolts and plate holding the leaf spring to the axle. Many manufacturers recommend that the U-bolts be replaced if removed. Also replace them if they are rusted excessively or there is not enough thread to accommodate the thickness of the thrust plate. Now remove at least one shock absorber from the axle end only. Raise or lower the body to separate the spring from the axle so there is a gap of approximately two inches. Determine the proper pin and insert by finding the smallest one that will fit over the pin. Fit the insert first and then check to see if the pin will fit properly. Install the plate with the insert over the pin. If the pin is not flush or recessed in the plate, it will be necessary to trim the locating pin until it is flush with the plate. Trim the spring locating pin with a grinder so it is flush with the plate and insert. Improper locking of the two plates may result if the pin is protruding. Using a press tool or hammer, press the same color pin into the smaller plate. Now install the kit with the plastic shim between the two plates. Lower or raise the vehicle so the colored pin in the smaller plate is in the hole of the axle and the insert with the larger plate is located over the spring pin. Now install the U-bolts and mounting plate loosely. Using a come along or small cable winch, move the axle into proper alignment. Watch the readings on the alignment equipment to determine when the thrust angle is correct. Now slide out the plastic shim and tighten everything together using the U-bolts.
Make sure the smaller plate seats completely in the larger plate. This will lock the two plates together. An alternate method of lining up the plates correctly is to mark the location of the two plates, then remove them and press them together using a vise. After the plates are pressed together, reinstall them as a unit into the vehicle. No matter which method is used, completely tighten the U-bolts and torque the specifications if required. Reinstall the shock absorber and recheck the alignment readings. A unique feature with this kit is that it can be removed, pressed apart, and reset if needed. Thank you.